You're watching Reality Check. We always knew of the sordid nexus between TV ratings agencies all too willing to game ratings and pro-government anchors and possibly even the ruling regime. What the WhatsApp chat transcripts between Republic TV's Arnab Goswami and Partho Das Gupta, the then head of the TV rating agency Park, have done is opened a window into this murky backroom world of ratings fixing, influence peddling and who knows even gaming official policy. These chats, already viral on social media, form part of Mumbai police's investigation into corruption in TV ratings. Das Gupta, who headed Bark until October 2019, has been arrested as part of this investigation. Now it's for the police to prove criminality or not. The chats have run into thousands of pages and what we've done here, my colleague Arvind Gunasekar, who joins me, has focused on the main excerpts that appear to show the collusion between the ratings agency head and Arnab to ensure better ratings for Republic TV, sometime at the expense of other channels. And number two, almost as quid pro quo, Arnab flaunts his political connections within the Modi government, making promises to the Bark chief to provide access and influence policy in the Bark chief's favor. Now, Arvind, I'll run through all the key points that you've uh, managed to extract from those thousands of pages of the data dump of the Mumbai police, and then I'll come to you to understand their implications. Here's just an example of some of these conversations, starting with the exchanges that pertain to the gaming of ratings. The rating agency head talks of an unofficial collaboration with Republic. This is just a few days before the launch of Republic. Partho Das Gupta says, we don't give these daily reach figures, these are TV reach figures to anyone, Happy that our teams are unofficially collaborating. Best wishes, boss, from my heart, he says to Arnab, and not from Bark. I really want you to succeed. The rating agency chief in another chat advises Arnab to capture key markets. Partho Das Gupta says, you need to capture Delhi, Bombay, and Calcutta. Right now, only Bangalore and Chennai are your bastions. To which Arnab purportedly replies, Kolkata is in our grip. Delhi and Bombay will work on it. The rating agency chief also advises Arnab on how to boost ratings. He says, please promote heavily on Star Bharat and other GEC or general entertainment channels or movie channels. That can funnel reach. To which Arnab Goswami says, yes, absolutely on all fronts. The rating agency head tells Arnab, there's a decision being taken at Bark which will hurt Republic. Partho Das Gupta says, basically some decisions are being taken which can hurt you guys. Most sitting there referring to Bark, doesn't even understand it will hurt some. To which Goswami says, okay, most board members, presumably board members of Bark, are talking to me. In another chat, the rating agency head and Arnab strategize on how to counter Republic's rivals. Faced with allegations that Republic places its channels in dual locations to boost ratings, Arnab plans to level similar charges against rival channels like India Today. To which Partho Das Gupta says, leak it to the press. To which Goswami replies, hammer India today, leaking to the press now. Now, in addition to these chats, the charge sheets also contain internal documents of Bark, which further point to the possible rigging of ratings. One of them shows how Bark may have downgraded Times Now and boosted Republic. This is an internal audit report commissioned by Bark, which finds that how Times Now's ratings or impressions were marked down dramatically compared to Republic. Those images from those ratings or from that audit are on your screen. The audit was for the period from June 2017 onwards, month after Republic's launch. There are questions though why Bark is only selectively auditing Times Now versus Republic and not other English channels as well. There are also email exchanges between Bark officials which also reveal the possible evidence of rigging. They exchange emails on controlling channels. There's an exchange between Venkat Samrat and Romil Ram Gadia, both Bark officials on Telugu news channel ratings, where Venkat says, the below data can't go out. Everyone will get to know which channels we are controlling and which we are not. It will be chaos to handle. This data is a giveaway. There are also exchanges which show how the rating agency head is attempting to leverage Arnab's political clout almost as quid pro quo. In one exchange, the rating agency had asked Arnab to get him a top government post. Partho says, if you can please get me a media advisor kind of position with the PMO. I'm fed up of Bark now. Arnab tells the rating agency chief that the information minister will meet him one-on-one. -on -one.
He also says the minister will invite you to make a personal presentation on the work you're doing, one-on-one -on -one with Venkaya. This is a reference to Venkaya Naidu, the then INB minister. Arnab also brags to the rating agency head that the ministry has put aside a complaint against Republic. This after Parthu Das Gupta messages him saying, apparently there's some complaint about Republic in the ministry. It's yet to be referred to us. One is told, but I think it will never come. To which Goswami says about the DISH FTA thing, Rajivardhan Rathor, who is the then Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, told me that he's keeping it aside. The rating agency head also gives briefing pointers to Arnab for Smriti Irani, who also was INB minister at some stage. He says Arnab should tell the minister to warn rival networks to not trouble Republic. Parthudas Gupta saying in the chat, since you're traveling with her, Smriti Irani, suggests you bring up a couple of topics and a simple whack to both Times and India today to not be after you. Arnab also talks of setting up a meeting with the Prime Minister. He says, I spoke to the PM after we spoke, confirmed for Wednesday between us. OK, great, replies Das Gupta. Arnab says, he has our channel in his room. Das Gupta says, you should get a photo and do an ad with this. Goswami says, expecting a big spike today because we are plastering Modi across full prime time, unlike others. In another chat, Das Gupta says, I have supported you he tells Arnab, and jammed others. Partho says, you need to help me through the PMO. I have supported you without saying so, and I have jammed others. Arnab says, noted and will happen. I may meet the PM on Thursday. Partho says, please ask someone to tell Rajat Sharma, who is the then head of the NBA, the Broadcasters Association, and TRAI, the telecom regulator, not to needle us. TRAI is spreading misinformation that we're not putting out ratings. I helped BJP on that advertiser story too, says Partho and the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting on multiple issues. It's time they shaft people who are against them. In another chat, Das Gupta asks Arnab to speak to a AS, initial AS, to wrap the telecom regulator. He appears to be against TRAI's calls to make ratings data public. He says, Das Gupta, meanwhile, TRAI may move against us. Don't know if you are following the news. As CEO, they may implicate me. Goswami says the NDA will come out very strong. In two months, if the BJP comes, TRAI won't have teeth. They have taken on AS, who told them to pull back, and they didn't. Das Gupta says, can you help me by telling AS to tell TRAI to pipe down on bark? Goswami says, I can. In another chat, or in that same chat, rather, Das Gupta says, can you text AS and get TRAI wrapped? Goswami saying, can you give me three points why TRAI action is working against AS interest. Another exchange which has become highly controversial is uh, Goswami appearing to have prior knowledge of the Balakot strikes. Three days before the strike, he talked of something big. He says, on another note, something big will happen. Das Gupta, Daud, question mark, Goswami, no sir, Pakistan, something major will be done this time. Das Gupta, it's good for the big man in this season, he will sweep polls then. Strike or bigger? Goswami, Bigger than a normal strike, and also, at the same time, something major on Kashmir. On Pakistan, the government is confident of striking in a way that people will be elated. Exact words used. All right, Arvind Gonasekar is still with me. Arvind, now you've called out all these chats, and obviously various aspects of these chats have become hugely controversial. Has there been now responses from all the key stakeholders involved, uh, including from Republic slash Arnab Goswami? Yeah, Vasu, Republic has put out a statement as usual. Arnab has called it as a conspiracy from Pakistan. Arnab has used the Pakistan card once again. So he has said that it's a conspiracy from Pakistan. And without uh, going into any of the details of any of this uh, controversial uh, WhatsApp conversation, he has said that it is a conspiracy by Pakistan against Republic. So that's why he has stopped. And he has not given any uh, response, any clarification regarding all this purported WhatsApp conversation between him and uh, ex-CEO of of Bark that is Partho Das Gupta. So we also mail uh, asking for a response from Bar. Bar has said that because the matter is subjudice, they don't want to comment about it. So that's why Bar has also stopped from responding. Uh, the third party here is Partho Das Gupta, who is a man centered in the entire controversy. So his uh, counsel Arjun Singh has uh, given a response to NDTV. He has said that uh, one he has again said that the matter is subjudice. Where he also said that all these WhatsApp chats they don't have evidentiary value here because it is yet to be tested in court of law. 
and he also went on to say that it has zero value because uh, because uh, uh, these are need to be these are yet to be corroborated uh, by uh, a criminal investigation so he has called it again as subjudice matter and that's why they don't want to go in detail about the contents of this whatsapp conversation uh, coming to the, uh, the the final uh, uh, matter here so we also reached out uh, based on nba because nba has also issued a statement here in fact nba citing all this whatsapp conversation calling it to be a collusion between uh, one of the channel that is republic tv arnab gosomi who's the editor in chief with the then uh, ceo of bar asking the uh, bar to come up with a transparent manner to measure the trp ratings they have also asked bar to suspend the ratings right. till all these issues are settled and they have also said that there should be a legal strong action penal action against all these uh, people who have indulged in manipulation of trps all right arvin thank you very much uh, indeed for that joining me tonight on the panel on the show we have uh, mohua moitra who's lok sabha mp of the trinamool congress uh, majid memon senior leader of the ncp and senior advocate is with us uh, we have uh, deshwatan nigam political analyst supports the bjp rss and uh, dilip cherian is uh, with us uh, you know brand uh, guru and uh, dr sy kureshi who's a former member of the broadcasting standards authority and also former chief election commissioner thank you all so much for joining me uh, mama mitra let me start with you and with how this has become now a very volatile political flashpoint with the opposition parties including yourselves saying that you want a strong probe into uh, these uh, chats and how uh, you know there should even be a joint parliamentary committee uh, but what do you make of the response from arnab goswami and republic that look everybody knew that these uh, balakot uh, strikes or there was going to be some action by india against pakistan so what's the big deal uh look i'm a, a member of parliament and let me tell you whether it was on kashmir or whether it was on parliament i remember reading that uh, the, the honorable prime minister had come out and said that even in spite of bad weather they did the strike when they did because they didn't want to uh, ruin the secrecy on it do you remember that so um, in the face of the, in the face of what's come out now it's rather ridiculous to claim that everyone knew about it most certainly nobody else did i think that's a ridiculous defense as well as the pakistan conspiracy angle but i don't think we should be here uh, walking into the anchor's narrative i think we shouldn't be getting into his narrative i think the narrative should be set by all right thinking people in this country uh, who are now reading these transcripts and uh, that's it and the narrative is very clear that there was a clear violation of the official secret it's act there was a clear violation of all basic tenets of national security uh, and uh, that are an anchor close to the government is sitting in bombay and has knowledge about attacks 5 days ago hmm. and is gloating about them is gloating about them saying this is a big one and the ratings agency head is saying that you know this is going to help the big man come back hmm. this is something that we've been saying all along but you know that i think this just shows it in black and white right. i think that's the big issue here is that this this particular anchor has lectured the entire country time and again on national security right. this government has been voted back to power saying that the other that the congress can't look after national security they are the only ones that can be trusted with national security and there you have it the parliament is in the dark the cabinet right. is in the dark everyone's in the dark and mm. you have one anchor in bombay who's got information about this fight is okay that's, that's what the main point is right uh you know this other nigam the the sort of the criminality of it aside just to ask you that the bjp rss is always going on about lutians media and how it was nourished by the congress ecosystem and vice versa here you have somebody who is clearly someone very close to the government who at the very worst is actually tampering or influencing policy at the very least is having these exchanges that smack of cronyism uh shrinivas let me tell you you seem to have jumped to certain conclusions even courts have not come to this conclusion these chats have no evidentiary value unless and until it is corroborated by independent evidence and we all know in fact pakistan that's why i said i'm not getting been... into the criminality so i haven't jumped no, any no, gun i'm just no, going no, on the basis you, of you, of what is you indicative you of these conversations you, yes no you reached a conclusion and that's a very dangerous trend let's not reach a conclusion okay. yes investigation is... fine investigation fine i don't deny there should be an investigation uh, already mumbai police is doing an investigation which had uh, already done lot of vendetta and vengeance against arnab goswami and, so what is uh, your take away then desh from these conversations see, you think it's see, all hunky dory see, yes no no let let me tell you because my legal instincts come to the fore the moment because i won't talk to you as a layman 
because the moment you talk about these chats they have no evidentially very per se unless mm. independently corroborated so right. far as about national security is concerned yes everybody knew about something big is going to happen and i did a lot of programs on your channel itself mm. we were uh, we were actually thinking of something like a surgical strike right. to happen and everybody was saying there should be another surgical strike so that's nothing very great so okay. about uh, about allegations of paid money there is no evidence in fact on record so far as i have read the reports right. yes if 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 one is raising a hue and cry about it an investigation is something which i will never oppose an right. investigation is already being done by mumbai police and uh, they have filed Let's the charge it to up. be tested in a court of law okay if i am able to go to majid memon who i think is uh, adjusting his camera majid memon can i go to him now okay majid memon uh, what do you what do you make of this that you know uh, on one hand all these chats have come out as part of the the mumbai police charge sheet uh, they purportedly suggest as i said both a kind of ratings fixing and even suggesting some kind of policy fixing but as deshatan puts it nothing this has no evidentiary value and uh, this is a uh, part of the mumbai police maharashtra government's hounding of arnab goswami uh well uh, vasu i must tell your viewers yes that the i have also uh, seen the uh, lawyer of uh, mr das gupta one of the controversial uh, speaker in this uh, exposure yes uh, that this uh, whatsapp has no evidentiary value mm -hmm. now let me tell your viewers and also convey to mr das gupta and his lawyers yes that uh, you see this is material which is available to the investigating agency mm -hmm. who can always uh, interrogate suspect and with this material yes get lead or direction towards further material mm. which would be ev having an evidentiary value right. because you see now when they learn it judge before whom the charge sheet has been filed mm. would examine mm. and the sig uh, seriousness of uh, this kind of a conversation which is far beyond the rat race for uh, false manipulation of trp yeah. which is merely some economic offense but right the offense relating to uh, breach of uh, official secret act yes or even offense uh, which may be bordering on sedition right some the offense against the nation mm. because see let me tell if you give me a couple of minutes i will tell you that briefly, pulwama sir, briefly, yes yes Pul pulwama had happened yes incidentally on valentine day if all of whole right, 135 right. crore people yes. were lamenting that it was lovers day when we lost as many as 40 jawans in one strike sir. and this was horrible yes, it had taken away the sleeps of everyone right and i was happy to react when i was asked by media on the same day but by afternoon a couple of hours after the happening sir but coming that, to the yes that the government of india asked nia to descend to the scene of offense yes, and collect sir. sensitive evidence immediately right i had appreciated that act on the part of no no uh, but coming to the India. present majid bhai no, coming we, one minute coming yes, no no we are short minute. on time that's why yes Co come to no, the no one point. minute only yes. now about pulwama investigation late in 2019 i had raised a question on the floor of the house defense minister honorable rajnath ji was present and i had said that that nation eagerly yes and uh, no no we, that is important we wanting to know okay. what is happening about pulwama Let me... we, nobody parliament was not informed sir i need to move Even on months after and uh, arnav goswami could know 3 days before 26th of february when balakot happened yes. on 23rd of february right. he learns that 3 no, days no that's that's the We are going. No, okay, you are you're right. How did he here. know? That's the key question. Uh, right, important. Now, uh, Dr. Kureshi, you know the fact that, as I said at the outset, this is something that uh, we have long, as an NDTV and also as as journalists, we've spoken about this kind of a mix of ratings rigging and cronyism. Now you have these chats where the <laughs> bark head is supposedly saying things like, "I have helped you and I've hammered others. Help me with the PMO." did any of the shock or surprise you not at all in fact the, i was a member of nbsa for 7 years but before that much before that i was dg doordarshan and that is when i raised this issue that trp system time system is a fraud 
and the biggest victim of that fraud was the government itself, the Doordarshan. And um, uh, but everybody mm. poo-pooed me and mm. they thought I've gone mad. Mm. And all of the, what has come out is shocking. Of course, all right, but uh, uh, not surprising for me. And let me uh, tell you very categorically that there will be experts talking about it. But those who have not seen a people meter, they do not know how it works. And I have seen it. This system is total fraud, and we have to go away from it. Nobody is discussing the way forward. The current time system, what has changed from time, it has become bark, but the system is still the same. And it is full of flaws. It is totally fraud. Right. Dilip Cherian, what does this mean for a channel like Republic, the way it is branded itself? Arnab, you know, this sort of self-declared, I don't know, guardian of nationalism you know, the, 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 and the, morality. And now you look at all of this coming out. The, the image of uh, Arnab Goswami uh, that we are looking at is from the prism of journalism. May I just, for the purpose of this debate, look at it from a different pr prism? Okay. It is actually an example of crony capitalism at its worst. It is an example of the manipulation of Lucian's Delhi, which he rails and rants about. Essentially, if you go back to the license Raj, mm. this is a simple system of being a businessman and tampering the system so substantially right. that your valuation goes up, your profits go up, and what you're doing is that you are manipulating the market mm. for your end and you are actually suppressing all other competition. If you remember the bad old days of the 60s and 70s, yeah. when we talk about what we talk about as a license Raj, yeah. this is precisely what the Bombay Club was doing. Yes. The Bombay Club wanted to perpetuate this. Right. And here you have the, in a sense, the, uh, the successor to that Bombay Club. Sitting in Upgraded Bombay, version. Mm. Using, using the Lutin's Delhi, which he talks about. He's yeah. talking about TRAI, he's talking about ministers, he's talking about the courts. Yes. You've missed out on that. So all he's saying is, let us tamper with the entire system. And yeah. to do this, he needs to impress the, the head of bar. So yeah. he's throwing names, he's doing all that. Yeah. So let us, let us leave aside his journalistic bluster. Right. Here is a pure case of crony capitalism okay. where he's manipulating the system right. to rig the market and Vasu, can I come getting in? huge okay. amounts of money. Okay, Mawa, yes, Vasu, uh, Desh, I'm coming Vasu, to you. I... Mawa has a point. Mawa, yes. Yeah, Vasu, there are three things to remember here. Yeah, The first is the question of the National Security and the Official Secrets Act, which is, I think, the, the, the most important one that all of us as Indians should be worried about. Mm. And to which, rather than Arnab Goswami and rather than uh, the head of the bar, I think the, the Prime Minister and the Home Minister owes us answers to. That's the main thing. Let's not get away from this. That's the first. Because Arnab didn't get his information from like a hole in the wall. He's, he claims he got it from where uh, it, mm. uh, it really originated. So right. that's the first. The second is the question of criminality. While we can talk about this, the Mumbai police has filed this in a charge sheet. Please note, they have filed this in a charge sheet. Mm. So while the courts will go through the trial and decide on this, the information is there for everyone to see. Mm. I mean, unless the BJP spokesperson is suggesting that the Bombay police sat and actually made all of this up, there's very there's, there's every chance that all of it is true. Okay. And the third is, if you look yes. at the point of crony capitalism, if you look at the names mentioned, it is horrific. He claims, A, to speak to the Prime Minister. He's getting him a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the INB Minister. He's travelling with Shruti Irani. He's speaking to AS, whoever that may be. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Right. About uh, wrapping TRAI on its knuckles. Yeah. And the, the head of the bar needs a job with the PMO. Right. And Mr. Goswami is in a position to get him that. Right. I okay. mean, look at this. It just stinks. Okay. Desh Ratan, Desh, you have, you have the last word. Go for it. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the last word. Uh, rarely I get so, but thank <laughs> no, you. No, that's not fair. Anyway, go for it. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's generally third last or second last. Generally, okay. I get. So, <laughs> see, I see again. I am saying jumping to conclusion is a very dangerous trend. Right. Investigation. One should be open about it. Yes, Mr. Qureshi raised a very important point. The present TRP system and the scam has named six other channels as well. So present TRP system certainly is not working well. Mm. So something new has to be found out, if, right. if at all it is required. And why should you have a TRP system? I fail to understand. 
let channels you know work and work in a way and yes all anchors get one to one interviews with various politicians so th that's nothing great this is not about yes, interviews there are though uh, they certain this is this is about this is about talking or perhaps finish. bragging we don't know about access you know, about saying i'll so, get you see, one to one see, with see, this minister i'll influence you so a policy not, for that that's, minister that's vasu, vasu, that's different that, from vasu, interviews vasu, yes vasu, Vasu, that's not a crime. Anybody can brag. You know, it has to be investigated further. The level of charge sheet, as of now, right. will let me tell you, as a lawyer, will not hold the test of law because okay. independent firstly, corroborative evidence okay. is not there. We're out of <laughs> we're out of time, Deshathan. Firstly, as I said, we are not just purely on criminality. We're also on the ethics and the principles of what's happening. And secondly, next time I will hold you to the same high standards that you've set for yourself, saying, you know, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's see when the rules yes, are reversed yes. whether you'll exercise the same you know same caution. Vasu, okay. you know me very well. Okay, Vasu, okay. you know me very that, well. That's I true. You are you are track. extremely circumspect. But we'll have to leave it there. It's been fascinating. Thank you all so much for joining me, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.